Hey everyone, uh, Jeff Trees from BIM Technology Management here. Today I wanted to kind of go through, I think, something that a lot of people have to deal with, and that is uh, creating a key plan. Um, so I have some basic walls drawn out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to export this floor plan uh, to DWG. Uh, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop for now and I'm gonna call it key plan. Uh, and then I'm gonna go edit my title block and then I'm gonna actually go file new family and I'm gonna create a generic I'm gonna create a generic annotation. So under annotations, I'm going to create generic annotation. So when you first pop open your generic annotation, it always has this note. It's kind of letting you know that this is your insertion point. I'm going to delete this. Uh, and then I'm going to insert, import CAD and load that CAD file in that I just created. So key plan right here. Uh, it's just letting me know there's nothing in paper space. We want the model space. So things huge. Uh, way bigger than what we needed. Um, that's okay. I think everyone knew that was going to happen. So we're going to just kind of trace the outline of the building. Probably should be doing the outside lines, but it's okay. Now I'm going to just unpin this and delete the imported CAD. I'm going to hover over one of these lines, tab to get the entire selection. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to scale this button down or scale this thing down with this button. Uh, I'm gonna click this is my, I'm gonna click, here, I'm sorry, one more time. Uh, I'm gonna click this as my base point, and then I'm gonna actually switch this to graphical, and I'm gonna do point one. Uh, and then I'm gonna pull a dimension here. I think it's still much bigger than we want it. I would assume maybe about two inches high. So I'm gonna scale this down one more time. So it's four inches high. I'm gonna do a file, save as family. I'm gonna drop it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it key plan. Uh, and then I'm going to load it into my title block just to make sure that the size fits. And as I can see, it's still a little bit big here. I want to have it fit nicely in this corner. So I'm going to edit it one more time. And I'm going to scale it down by 50%. So I'm going to go 0.5. And then I'm going to load it into my project one more time. And I can see that's a pretty good size right there. All right, so I am going to edit this one more time. Um, I'm gonna drop some text in here because the way this building's getting split out is something like this. Um, and then we have an area A over here. I'm gonna create a new font type. I'm gonna call it quarter inch uh, and this is going to be area B over here alright so that's roughly how that's going to be um, now next we're going to create a filled region for each section to designate which is which uh, okay, so I got my one side, I'm going to hit finish, and now it's black, I don't really like the black, so I'm going to create a new one, I'm going to duplicate this, call it solid gray, and then change these colors to gray, and then I'm going to copy this over here. create my second filled region. 
All right, so if I load this back into my title block, you can see I have this great area A and area B, which is awesome, except for I can't control area A and area B separately at this point. So I'm gonna go back in and I am going to uh, associate a parameter with this specific field region here. So if, while selecting this, I'm gonna go over here where it says visible and I'm going to associate a family parameter. So there's none created, so I'm going to automatic or I'm going to create one now. Uh, it automatically categorizes it under the right type of parameter, which is yes, no. And I'm gonna make this instance. And then I'm gonna do it again for area B. And then instance. All right, so now I'm gonna load this into my title block. And within my title block, I can come over here and uncheck and check depending on what I wanna show. So I'm gonna load this into my project now and kinda of show you how this, how this is within my project. So I have this key plan, uh, it shows area A and area B awesome so the problem is I still don't have any control of which area I see within my project only if I go into edit family and modify my title block so that's not really what I want to do so number one I'm gonna click on my key plane um, and I'm gonna associate a parameter to the visibility of it similar to what we just did with these two filled regions except for I'm gonna call this one key plane and I'm gonna make it instance Um, and I'm going to load this back into my project and overwrite the existing version. And now when I click on my title block, you can see down here, I have a checkbox to turn the key plan on and off, which is awesome, except for I still can't control area A and B separately within my job. So one more time, I'm going to go into my family editor for my title block. Um, and I'm gonna click on this generic annotation that's embedded within my title block, and I'm gonna assign parameters to area A and B. So I'm gonna create new parameters to map them to the parameters in my generic annotation. And this is gonna be instance. And I'm gonna do the same thing again with B. I'm gonna create a new one, area B. And again, make an instance. Uh, now I'm going to load it into my project. And I'm going to overwrite the existing version. Now you can see within my project, I have these checkboxes to be able to turn the visibility on and off. So if I have an overall where I need both, I'll leave them both on. Otherwise, I can uncheck area A. Or turn on, sorry, or turn on area B. And if I have a detail sheet or I don't need a key plan, I can turn the key plan off. Boom. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you can feel free to reach out, send me an email, leave a comment in the video, hit me up on LinkedIn. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. Have a good day.